This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Sorry for the delay. Hit that subscribe button. I was handling something today. Um, so anyways, let's get into it. We got, um, oh geez, why isn't this up? Okay, well, Little Bibby, let me put this up. But Little Bibby reacted to Juice World. Now, Juice World um, was signed to Little Bibby. Little Bibby actually brought Juice World over to the label and he put him under his label. Uh, so obviously it hurt him more than anybody. Um, now he said, rest easy, little brother, young goat, most talented I've ever witnessed. You will be missed. Watched you take platinum records. Uh, you're going to miss you freestyling around the crib all day, even though that got irritating. Most genuine person I've ever met. Love you, brother. Then he also said, craziest kid I've ever met. Just had to talk you out of spending 500K on a one and a half day trip to Tokyo. He ended up spending 200K, but that was better than 500. Yeah, uh, actually, Boosie reacted to this and actually blamed the pilot for snitching on um, Juice World to the feds. And it made him freak out and take the the rest of the, the pills he had because he was probably already under the influence and uh, wasn't making logical decisions, unfortunately. Um, anyways, man, then Boosie, um, speaking of Boosie, he got a bunch of money, a bunch of jewelry stolen from his car today. $50,000 worth of jewelry from his car. That's crazy. I don't know what he was doing. He was at... Papa Do's Seafood Kitchen in Atlanta. So this happened in Marietta. This car was parked outside. Unguarded, thieves were able to make their way out for the necklace and the rapper's rings. A witness on the scene noted that it was a man who smashed the windows on, and on the set of an alarm before taking stuff out of Boozy's whip. Jeez. Anyways. That's it for right now. I got some more news, uh, Takashi and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to drop that in a minute, about an hour. I love you guys and I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys are having a great day.